Hello everyone. So now we are going to write some Python code um, for the simple simple linear regression model we saw in the previous video. Okay, so well as usual we're gonna import some uh, very useful libraries for for most of the data science projects, right? And we're gonna do some plots. Uh, so we are going to uh, import a pie plot, and uh, we want the plots to be in line. So now we are going to read the the data from a plain txt file. Um, in a comma separate the value format. In my case here, the file it is called regression data txt, and um, we're going to tell that the header is zero because the the first line has the name of the columns. So just to check, uh, is panda sorry. So we can take a look of the data. Okay, we are going to use here just the variable x and the output variable y. Okay, because uh, um, for for the example purposes, we want to visualize in two dimensions. Actually, we can now do the, some preprocessing. One thing, let's say that we are going to sample just 50 points. So we, we are under sampling the, the data. We are assigning a random state in order to, every time we run again this random part, we are going to get the same output, right? Also, it's we are going to need the number of observations. Um, actually, sorry for. Let's say this better. And uh, what else we can do? Let's normalize the data, right? So, in particular. Usually we have to. Well, here we can we can see the name of the of the columns, right? So we want to normalize the data. So in particular, x we are going to subtract. I mean, standard data. So subtract the mean and also divide by the standard deviation. And uh, given that later we wanna append one column of ones, as in the previous video, video we showed that the design matrix or the X matrix was a matrix with a column of ones at the beginning, we're going to need X in a NumPy matrix format. So now seems to be fine. Now let's uh, append this column. So we're going to use this function from NumPy. It's like H stack, like horizontal stack. And what we are going to stack is a column of ones, right? of the size of the number of observations and one, right, one column. We need double parentheses here. And this is going to be stuck from the left side of the matrix X transpose. Remember that X is a matrix with, a, with the data as rows, right? So 
we have some missing parentheses here. Yeah, it's another one here, right? So that said, seems to be working. And we're gonna do sort of the similar similar thing with for y. So we are going to subtract the mean. In this case, it's going to be transposed because, as we saw in the previous video, in the slides, y is a column vector. Oops. It's, again, uh, something wrong here. It's a matrix. Okay, here we go. So we can um, take a look to the data case we're going to scatter so here the data is in the second column right because in the first column it just once so we are going to do a slice and uh, y we're going to use a marker equal to circles and here we, we're not gonna need as an ampere array. I don't know exactly why, but uh, this cutter doesn't work as the PL, after as the PLT dot plot. So it needs us an ampere arrays. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. That is the data. Okay, great. So now, as we saw in the previous slides, we just need to write to find the model as w and according to that equation w is just a set of a bunch of matrices products x transposed times x So I'm just writing down the same equation we have in the slides. This times x transposed times y. Okay. Um, then we are gonna need to plot the model, right? So here's the thing: like to plot the model, we need to plot the prediction in every single point in the space of x, right? So then we can have the, the line, for example. So we need to uh, get a line and predict the value of y over that line. So let's say we're going to use a resolution of 100 points and we are going to create a, li a line by using uh, the, this function from num NumPy. So it is lean space. So let's say it is going from the minimum of the value of x in the column number one, the data column, to the maximum and uh, we want 100 points, right? Again, we need to append, because given that we want to predict over these values, we need to put it in the same format as X. So it's going to be as a as matrix, and uh, we need to stack also the column of ones. So it's a horizontal stack of um, NP.1s, 
of the size of the, in this case, resolution, right? One column. And uh, this is going to be appended to T transpose. Okay, I have an error. Yes, this is the error here. Okay, now seems to be working. So here is the plot. Let's say like we're gonna do scatter of uh, again an ampere array of x one. And why? Okay, so we are basically plotting the, the the data points to see the model over how how it looks written over the data points, right? And um, now we are going to plot the model, which is t in the domain, right? And this is the prediction, the mean of the prediction, remember, that is t times w. And we are going to use red axis and uh, let's title this. As a simple linear regression and plt that show. So here we go. So as you can see, this is a very simple model. It's just the line that was found by using the, um, the W model, right? 